measurement of surface tension. As per definition, surface tension is a force or tension required to break the film and is defined as a force in lines acting upon the line centimeter long on the surface of the liquid. So, lambda is the surface tension equal to F is a force to the length of the surface. So, unit of the surface tension are Newton per meter or times per centimeter. So, the fact of temperature as the temperature increases, the most or uh, the surface tension of the most of the liquid decreases. So, this table also shows the same effect that water at 20 degrees Celsius having surface tension 0 0.073 which reduces to 0 0.059 on at uh, 100 degrees Celsius. So, there are different methods of surface tension measurement. Very first is the capillarized water, another is the lagometer method which is also known as drop weight method. Third one is the Wilhelmi plate or ring method. Next one is the maximum work pressure method. Another is the method analyzing shape of the hanging liquid drop or gas bubble. And last one is the dynamic method. So, the choice of the method for measuring the surface tension depends on whether the surface tension is to be determined, the accuracy desired, and the size of the sample. So, come towards the capillary method. This is most commonly and oldest method used to determine the surface tension. Uh, this phenomena was applied for determination of liquid surface tension. For this purpose, a thin circular capillary is dipped into the test tube. If the interaction forces of the liquid with the capillary valves are stronger than those between the liquid molecules, so the liquid molecule wets the valve and rises in the capillary to a defined level and the meniscus is hemispherically concave. Uh, in the opposite situation, the forces cause decrease of the liquid level in the capillary below that in the chamber and the meniscus is uh, semispherically convex. Both causes are illustrated in figure 1. So, in this, the meniscus is above the surface and meniscus below the surface. So, if the cross section area of the capillary is circular and its radius is sufficiently small, then the meniscus is semi spherical along the perimeter of the meniscus. In, uh, uh, these acts uh, are forced due to the surface tension presence. So, F1 is the force equal to 2 pi r lambda cos theta where r is the capillary radius and lambda is the liquid surface tension and theta is the weighting contact angle. So, uh, the force F1 in equation is uh, equilibrated by the mass of the liquid rise in the capillary to the height h that is the gravity force F2. In the case of non wetting liquid, it is lower to distance H. So, F2 equal to pi r square H dg, where d is the liquid density and g is the acceleration of the gravity. The, in the equilibrium, F1 is equal to H2 and hence lambda equal to r H dg by 2 cos theta. If the liquid completely with the capillary valve, the contact angle theta equal to 0 and cost 0 equal to 1. In such case, the surface tension can be determined by equation 5 given below. Uh, lambda equal to R H D G by 2. If the liquid does not weight the valve, then it can be assumed that theta equal to 180 and cos 180 equal to minus 1. As the meniscus is lowered by the distance, as Equation 5 gives the correct result. In practice, the capillary rise method is only used when the contact angle is 0, owing to the uncertainty in measuring contact angle correctly. For example, uh, a sample of chloroform flows uh, to the height of uh, uh, 3.67 cm at 20 degrees Celsius in a capillary tube having an inside radius of 0.01 cm. 
what is the surface tension of the chloroform at the temperature. So, the density of the chloroform we know is the 1.478 gram per centimeter and uh, the radius r equal to 0 0.01 centimeter. We put the values, the, this is the height to which the chloroform lies and uh, this is uh, the g. So, the lambda means the surface tension of the chloroform is 26.6 times per centimeter. We can do in uh, some more examples by taking this value. In the upcoming sessions, we will uh, discuss some different methods.